Today, if you're trying to read all the way through Genesis this week, you need to read from Genesis 16 through Genesis 22. This is following the lives of Abraham and Sarah and their struggle to remain patient and to believe the promise of God as time continued to pass and years went by and they did not have a child and they did not have an heir. And as can sometimes happen, they grow impatient. And sometimes we struggle believing that what God has told us and believing that it's going to happen when too much time goes by. So Sarah takes matters into her own hands and tells her husband that he should sleep and have sexual intercourse with one of her maidservants, Hagar, so that they can produce an heir. And Hagar gets pregnant, has a son named Ishmael, and then Sarah gets really ticked off at Abraham because she feels embarrassed, ashamed, hurt, pained. Uh, it's tough to name all the emotions that Sarah felt in seeing Abraham able to have a child with another woman, a younger woman, who she had told him <laughs> to have a child with. And so uh, she ends up telling Abraham, get rid of her. Get rid of her and get rid of the son, even though it's Abraham's son. And so poor Hagar is banished into the wilderness with not nearly enough supplies to survive. And she sits down eventually, collapses in tears, and cries out to God. And this is what we hear in Genesis chapter 21, verse 17. And God heard the voice of the boy, and the angel of God called to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What troubles you, Hagar? Do not be afraid, for God has heard the voice of the boy where he is. Again, it's, it's hard to imagine being in the place of Hagar. We would say today that uh, she was an enslaved person, that um, she had uh, a sexually intimate relationship with her master, uh, most likely against her will, produces a son, and then they both get booted to the wilderness. But God hears the cry of the boy, and God hears Hagar's tearful prayer, shows her where there's water, and promises that her son will also become great and have many descendants. And for the world we live in today, where three of the primary or more influential religions in the world are Christianity, Islam, and Judaism. And all three of those religions trace themselves back to Abraham and either to Isaac with our Jewish sisters and brothers or Ishmael, as do those of the Muslim faith. The struggles that we see in the world today are more ancient and go back further than some people realize.